Hello, dreamers, and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. The doors. I have heard that the Touch of Magic doors are bugged in in the boutique in Disney Dreamlight Valley. And uh, people told me not to buy them. And naturally, that piqued my curiosity. So I want to buy a door. And I know it's bugged. And I know it's probably a bad idea, but I want to use this video as an opportunity to spread the word that the doors are apparently very bugged. But in any case, I just want to see what kind of designs I can create. So in this video, I'm going to create three door designs that hopefully by the time they fix the doors will be available uh, for for guys to, to buy. Anyway, 300 uh, daisy coins wasted. Let's decorate the doors that are going to be completely broken. Basic diamond door. Since it's not just called basic door, but called basic diamond door, I feel like we might have more door designs in the future updates. That would be absolutely great. But for now, let's go into the customize. Let's go in here. Let's go select the basic diamond door. And let's create our first door. Oh, yeah. This looks clean. This looks very clean. All right, so we have two colors here. One is the door itself. And the other one is the frame, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. Wow, we can, we can literally create anything we want. We can make like a bunker door. We can make like super glossy, glossy metal door. Like something like this. Wait, how do I move it? I can zoom it in. I can rotate it. But I guess I can't move it. Okay, great. Yeah, not no no keys can do this and nothing. Anyway. I'm definitely not making uh let's see, what what kind of a door do I want to make? You can make a regular wooden door. This looks very Office like, like an office build door. We can make a magical door. Oh, very glitchy. It keeps glitching me to the right corner for some reason. Oh, I like the idea of planets. What if I make a space door? Oh, this is, this is extremely glitchy. Like, it, it feels very... On, on, with mouse and keyboard on PC, it feels very difficult to control and be able to see what I want to see. Yeah, the Touch of Magic tool definitely can use some work. Okay, I think I found a cool, interesting idea. I can use this motif to add some flames going around the door. Oh, that's going to look good in space. It's going to look like a little spaceship. And done. My first door design is finished. It's a nice little space door. I'm s very... Like, I don't get why is the door uh, only has... Like, it seems it only has one uh, side. What about the other side? Do I have to decorate each side of the door separately? Like, why would you ever want... Oh, no. And the side that I decorated was the wrong side. All right, here we go. I recreated the whole thing. We have a nice little... Uh... To be honest, I probably should have done the flames on the bottom, but oh well. All right, door number one. This is my rock rug. I guess I'll keep it as a rock rug. Let's design door number two. This is going to be a tough one. I think I want to make a flower door. I think flower door is my goal for this one. So we're going to use something like some floral motifs. Like potentially use this in the middle of the door. Like this. Ooh, I like that. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a good one. Uh, the texture probably should be 
I don't think texture matters a lot here. I feel like I'm going to cover it with motifs. For the most part. Ooh, that actually the metal looks pretty interesting. Metallic flower. Now, I think metal doors just look kind of weird. I do like this texture, though. I can make it kind of, like, slightly glossy. And make the colors a little bit... Actually, I don't know which colors to make yet. Let's make the, the actual design first. So we can make flower. And I can have these flowers, like, literally everywhere in the corners so i can have this in one corner the other corner and two bottom corners as well here i like that make it slightly bigger symmetrical Slightly smaller. Yeah, now when I did this, I'm not... Oh, boy. Now I'm not entirely sure that I like... The back texture of the door. It feels a little bit... Like, I want it to be a different color. I feel like... What what color is going to be good against the, the pink? Maybe some green? Or yellow? Or dark, like black color. Dark purple. Ooh, dark purple. Yeah, I feel like I want it to be a little bit subtle. So maybe like this. And now I can play more with the flower motif. I can add... There. My flower door has been finished. Design number two. Boom. I still find it weird that it's empty on the other side. I wonder how it's going to look inside the room. I guess we're going to find out how how broken is it uh, in, a, in a second after I design a third door. Actually, designing doors is not as difficult as designing clothes. Like, designing objects that are flat, so much better. And also, I like how in the door they have this little opening in the middle. So it kind of, like, it gives you an opportunity to do something uh, interesting. I forgot to make the frame. For the other door. Oh no. <laughs> the white looks so weird. I feel like this one is going to look good with wood. Something like this. Right? I don't think it should be like bright color. Maybe yellow. No, yellow is weird. I don't think it should be pink or purple either. Though... I kind of like this a little pinkish color of wood. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll keep it this way. All right, final door design. Let's see what I can get inspired by. <sighs> Ooh, this is tough. I want it to look unique and interesting. What if I give a door a mouth? I can make it look like a monster. Okay. And this is this can be an eye. Or maybe this can be a nose and I can have some kind of eyes around it. I don't know, guys. Honestly, I spent on it like 10 minutes and I I I don't know how I feel about this door. It, it's it, it's it's strange, but in case anybody likes it and feels like they want to have this in their house, uh, yeah, you you might be able to to get it from my shop. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, no, I definitely like the first two more. But, I, I mean, the other one has some charm to it, I think. Anyway, let's go into the house and try to use them. And let's, let's see my game account get deleted because I didn't heed all the warnings. All right, so we have this door here. Let's see what's going to happen. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen if you try to place a door, right? It, it, it shouldn't be too bad. All right, so we're going to replace it. Oh, wow. Oswald Deco door. Okay, this door kind of looks sick. 
Yeah, I don't see any of my Touch of Magic doors here. So from what I understand, it is possible to edit. But in order to do that, I need to go to Customize. Select a door. Of course, we're going to try this one. And we can add additional doors. But we can't replace the one that we already have. Which is kind of strange. And you can, you can only add it to this wall. That is very strange. Okay, let's add it. That looks beautiful. And... It does work as a door. Surprise, surprise. Okay. And if I were to... Uh, to remove it, I can't. But I should be able to go into the customize and just delete my design. No. Uh, wow. I mean, yeah, this is pretty much what I expected. I would love to see my other two doors. This one is absolute trash garbage. I don't know why I made it. I think the space door would be so much better. But yeah, uh, so a few things that I have to say about doors. If you place one, you won't be able to take it off unless you decide to delete your design, which I'm not willing to do. I spent 10 minutes on this design. No, thank you. So I'll just wait for it to get fixed. Uh, you will need to buy, to spend 300 daisy coins on every door you want to place. And also... Uh, you cannot replace the main door for now, but I'm assuming it will be fixed because otherwise there's absolutely no point. And I hope they add more door variations as well. And the third part is designing doors is super fun. So even if you're not going to place one, I would still recommend you design a couple just so they're ready for when, uh, for when they fix it. <laughs> this door is so cursed. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, you guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much to all of our supporters. And uh, looking forward to hearing what you guys think about the doors. I think... I think we need more door variations. I want to I wanna have more different blank shapes. And I feel like it needs to be a little bit more accessible. I feel like it's 300 coins. So basically, it's three days of challenges. So if you want to have... If you want to design a door for every room in your house, and let's say you have 20 floors, three rooms in each, so it's like 60 doors, it's it's going to take you like half a year of daily challenges just to be able to get enough empty doors. That's a little bit excessive. I feel like they need to think that one over. But yeah, love designing doors. Which one was your favorite from the three that I just designed? I mean, obviously the last one, but I'm just curious. All right. Bye-bye.